What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T stand up! All Flight No Fear August is here. We got some more NBA 2K25 gameplay. We got about a three in one video, starting out with one of my OGs, QJB. He has the My Player Builder and also the first look at the My Core. And then we going back over to the man Joe Knows. Joe Knows has full official part gameplay with a complete My Player Builder breakdown. So get your snacks, get your popcorn, get your notepads out. 2K out in less than six days. You can get very, very valuable information. Remember, all these guys attended Community Day the previous week. Nobody still gave me the right answer or a reasonable answer to why I wasn't invited. And I'm still clueless. With that being said, let's check it out. I am finally showing you this My Player Builder on NBA 2K25. I was able to record this at the community event. So some things are subject to change because this was an earlier version of the game. But to start off, I was going through... And now, you guys know that I'm making the Demigod Wet Bananas type of build, so I'm really, you know what I'm saying, like, curious to see how does the centers look like. As long as, like, the three, because I'm trying to make it in between seven, whatever the maximum height is, and, like, maybe, like, one inch shorter. So, like, around, like, seven, two, seven, three. As long as my three-pointer is, like, a 75, I'm chilling, chilling. And the minimum and maximum heights for each position here on 2K. What's the maximum so height for get a center? Quick look at that. But I'm hyped to get into this Power build. forward is seven foot. Okay, so seven foot power forward. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all niggas. I'm gonna be taking screenshots on my phone so I know this shit would come time during the day. So maximum height for power forward. Don't laugh at me, y'all, but I'll be really doing this stuff when it comes to these player builds, especially. I think there are some good things that you will like center. about this. But it can't seven three can make it seven three center. What's the three point? The three point match should be 78. It's over. It's over. It's over. Because last year... Last year, I believe it was like a 65 or a 70. I believe so. Don't quote me on it, but I believe... Bro, it's over with. It's over with. I'm trying to tell y'all boys right now. Bro, do not try to bandwagon and make your rebirth build a demigod type of a player, bro. Because I'm the one who said it first, bro. I mean, technically not really, but like last year. All right. So it kind of started out. But what happened, bro, your three-pointer was literally no higher than a 75 or 70. It couldn't be higher than a 72 because I remember the maximum height I made for my Rebirth player build had to be like 7-2 or I think it was 7-1 because I was trying to get the three-pointer up so I had to like lower my height. And I'm pretty sure, can he lower the weight? And be a little I don't think he's touching the weight. But bro, and, and then even, it, it depends on the wingspan itself too. So at a 7-3, 260-pound at a 7-8 wingspan, bro, you get a 78-3 as a center, and what's the speed? Speed with the ball is it, supposed to be trash. It's, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? And don't even get twisted. That ball handle, it says it's low, but you really get decent dribble packages depending on what you get. The speed, damn, your maximum speed is 49. All right, so low-key, I'm probably going to just drop the height to about like 7-2. If I can drop the weight, I can, and then maybe max the wingspan to like 7'9 or like 7'10 type shit. Oh, man, I love that I'm seeing this. And then you're, you're, you're dunking all that stuff. All that stuff is up. But I really like how your three-pointer is almost pushing 80 even being that tall, bro. I like complicated it. Complicated when you're first getting into it, and it took a little while to get used to here on the game. So I wanted to start my first build off by doing a small forward. And you see you can check out the possible badges over to the side. And they change when you're messing with pretty much everything about the height, weight, or the wingspan of your player. So I'm looking at this 224, 7 foot 4 inch wingspan at a 6 foot 8 height. Sounds pretty good for this small forward because he is able to have a 99 drive and dunk and if we build him right we can have some legend badges yes you know that's the red tier above hall of fame this season on nba 2k so i was going through this seeing what i needed to upgrade of course none of this stuff is going to be like my final build when i actually get on the real game but I wanted to see exactly what I could come up with while I was at the community day to show off this thing to you guys. So you see I'm messing around with this, seeing if I had my posterizer along with that aerial wizard can be legend tier as you see. Now remember they do have the cap breakers which will help you reach some of those higher tier badges this year on NBA 2K25. 
So it looks like I have this one maxed out to a 99. I think I'm gonna go with these attributes as of right now. But instead of just looking at Damn. badges, we six eight small forward is low key undersized nowadays. Thinking also about it, also <laughs> scroll over the takeovers, and I have to tell you, dude, there are a ton of these that you can get for your player. But you see, each one of these also has an attribute requirement. So depending on what your Let's player can do as far bit. as your attributes, will determine which one of these takeovers they can get for their player. Now you notice each one of these also has levels one, two, three, four, and five. And depending on what level you have, will show what boost you get to the attributes when you are in takeover. Now I can toggle this just to see which ones I qualify as of right now. And there are seven different takeovers. And you see those levels I was talking about. If I get it all the way to level five, my drive and dunk will have plus 15 if I was in that above the rim takeover. So pretty cool stuff they have right here. I am gonna go ahead and advance and see who my player is gonna compare to in this builder so let's go ahead and see with that posterizer legendary we're looking at tracy mcgrady T -Mac, og and an og and a booty and michael porter jr so that doesn't really sound too bad yeah, uh, wait span especially long that T -Mac, bro we'll be out there dunking on people for sure so i'm gonna go ahead and see what the my court is looking like we are able to walk around and explore this bad boy. So you see up here on the wall. My court is officially making a return if you guys didn't remember in 2K. How does the room look well, like? there is a jersey. I'm assuming when you're able to do those jersey swaps in my career, they will appear up there on the wall as well. They also I ain't gonna have lie. Hey, the crib looking nice though. Stairs area that you could go up. I was like, oh, let me see what's I don't know why in the first place they took this out in last suit. Like, bro, I be trying to tell y'all niggas, bro, 2K, bro. It's, it, it, it's literally some grimy type of marketing strategy. It's smart, but it's grimy as hell. But it's grimy at the end of the day, and it's start smart and grimy at the same time. But, bro, like, the, bro, these niggas literally take out stuff every single year in 2K just to put it back in a following year of 2K, bro, just to, like, try to get more money out of y'all boost sales, bro. Oh, you already know I'm trying to see. And there is a pool table. But unfortunately, I do not believe you are able to play that bad boy. There was that no reason for them to take the my court out last year. Like, yeah, they go to the Gatorade facility and shit. Kind of if you like, had a friend up in your court and you can challenge them to a game of pool. But I'm going back down the stairs. Of course, you know we have a TV. I'm assuming they'll have the 2K TV and all of that good stuff displaying on that. But then you can walk over to your court and get started with seeing what your player is going to feel and play like here on the game. So we're going to walk on to that bad boy. Well, actually, I'm still doing a little tour. I was going to show you the paintings on the wall. Of course, we had that special NBA 2K community day tag on there. But I'm going in with a dunk stick to start this thing off. Remember, I have that 99 driving dunk. So I know this dude is going to be a beast when it comes to driving into that paint. Now I was hitting him with a little step back. This is a good way that you can test out all your dribble moves. Come out and see if you're feeling your jump shot and all that good stuff. And you can also invite people to your court. Now you are able to play against the CPU on your court as well. But I don't think we were able to do that on this version of the game that we were playing at Community Day. But you see they have all kinds of stuff around the world. They brought back horse. And you can change the slider preset on each one of these. For example, you can do City, Rank Pro-Am, Rack. So you can have those settings and see exactly what it's going to feel like and what each game mode is going to play like when you're in various online game modes, okay? So you see I'm getting it popping right here with my jump shot. Getting all of these... I don't remember if the last micro whenever it was in 2K had the jump ball shooting machine. But I like this right here. I think they did, if you're, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was 100% in like practice modes for like my team and stuff like that, but them having a the shoot thing is a very, very small W. I'll give them Excellent that. Right releases, there. so you can press the A button or X, which we are on the PS5 right now, to call for the ball, and they will pass you one from right up under the goal. And I can That's go cool. over to the other side of the court as well if I want to. You see, I'm going over there with the dunk. And you're still able to call for the ball, even if you are away on this side. So pretty cool stuff right that's here. That's cool. That's cool. We that's were cool. just seeing the basics of the my court. Can't hit on it. Obviously, you know you're going to be able to customize this when you Facts. are on the, they say you can customize my court the too. full version of the game. So I'm going back and messing around with the center position now. 
Because you know I still Ooh. wanna create a Thanos O'Neill build. So I'll Thanos O'Neill, let me see this. You know one. I still wanna so at a center seven foot, weight two forty eight, wingspan seven four. The three is actually an eighty for this one. Let me take a picture of this one. So I'm getting so many different options for these damn yo. This is good information to know. And let me see what, what, what is the speed with the ball and handle. So ball handles at seventy. Speed with the ball is fifty eight. Create a That's not even that bad. It's only three inches shorter. I really wanted to be at least seven two, cause bro, every inch matters, especially in two K. Um, but this isn't that bad, bro. And it's crazy. Look at this. Look at the pass accuracy. You have like the pass accuracy of a, a, a of a six foot point guard. Ninety nine pack pass accuracy. The interior defense is at ninety eight. Offense and defense rebound ninety nine. This is actually low key the best one. Center low key close enough to make. 87 mid-range, I just noticed, too. The free throw is high. I don't really care about the free throw. The speed is obviously low how it should be. Wow, man. Wow. 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 Build. wow. So I was getting a little taste of what it was like to build a center here on NBA 2K25. Now, I wish I really could have played against other players in the mod court, but unfortunately, we really didn't have too much time, so I was unable to be able to do all of that. But you see, I'm putting the final touches on this center build. I was curious to see what it was going to be called. You know, whenever you get on a new 2K and you want to come over here and mess around with the builds and see the different names you can come up with. So I was going to do that for this center position. We got some really good blocking. We can do our thing down in the paint. And we have some shooting on this field. So we're going to see exactly Mikey? what this Hell is nah. like. Sabonis, Sabonis, Mike, Mike is, in a, uh, is, is cool. He's a legend. He got that, that signature warm-up lay at the Mikeins drill. Valencia Eunice and Sabonis build on top. Hell no. Sabonis, nah. is cool. Judas, what is he going to be called? A uh, inside outboard out -board hunter. So it what like the he's hell? Definitely gonna be able to get a bunch of rebounds. That's like that's like my nigga Snaggy Mo type of build though, low key. But like I said before, and Snaggy Mo, yeah, he need to he need to make something like that. By any stretch on NBA 2K25, I just wanted to come out here and see what I could come up with and what some of these builds will be called. So I brought my center out here to the my court just to see what kind of moves we could pull off. You see, I was in the post doing my thing. And like I said, he is able to shoot some threes as well. So I was like, okay. The jump shooting does look a little smooth, but we got to also account for that there's no lag. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's community day. They was playing CPU type shit. Like, it's not a bad build. You know, maybe I'll be able to work with this one a little bit. But all in all, I did have fun messing around with the My Player Builder. I feel like you will be able to come up with some creative builds when you get up here. <laughs> you know I had to end that thing on a little dunk. So when you pause the game and hit quit, that is how you come off of the court. And they also have this little thing off to the... How is this a floating basketball? ...side where you can do daily pickups for the basketball games. I'm going to go over here and see what this is. Wow, they're these. bringing gambling and 2K for real for it. They're doing a side parlay. You learn 2K and all that in the background as well. Damn, 2K is a badass influence, yo. That's crazy as hell, bro. Yo, they got parlays right learn here and everything. That's crazy. Practice, like different dribble moves and all that good stuff. And you can play. All for 50, uh, 50 VC. You couldn't even get yourself a do-rag. Many games to get used to the buttons. But let's see right here. We got the Grizzlies. Warriors and the team will a hundred VC for the correct pick fuck Ronnie and fuck Mike Wayne, bro Yo, this is devious, bro. Like come on y'all 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 opening your eyes up at this like bro I want you to put this in perspective like just imagine a person that is just not so fortunate to just like load up their account with like Two or three million VC on a daily or every other day or whatever, bro. And it's like they only have the hope of actually grinding out like the game and stuff to try and get VC. Bro, imagine, bro, this dude just went three and oh on a parlay and you gave this man a hundred VC. Bro, this isn't even enough to get fries, bro. This isn't even enough to get a half eaten bag of potato chips, nigga. Bro, and now thinking about it, just imagine what they pay to 2K employees. 
They gotta be scamming them niggas, bro. Especially the ones that it's not like the higher levels. They low key exposing themselves. Bro, 100 VC for doing 3 0 in a parlay? You couldn't even give 1,000? Bro, you can't even get into the Gatorade thing to get like a free jump shooting warm up. I can't, you can't make this up. So we can come over here and try to predict games. 100 and VC? And other rewards, it looks like right there. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. Showing off the NBA 2K25, my player builder, and my court. And right here, I was just messing around with a few mm. little attributes to seeing what other names. So we got a Wilt Chamberlain, Gobert, and a Zubak. So we a can Wilt come Chamberlain. Up with for these center bills. And you see right here, it's going to say defensive anchor. But I want you to let me know down in the comments. Okay, so this one he made off the defensive anchor um, center is uh, 7'3", 254, 7'6", wingspan. You see his 3 is a 78. What is his ball handle at, 40? See, that might be a little bit too low. I'm going to just take a picture of that so I just have options on these builds. But the ball handle for me got to at least be like a 65 to 70. I want to still be able to bring the ball up the court occasionally. What position do you think you'll make? As soon as oh, he got a wet bananas. What's this wet bananas like one? And you want to play either my career or online. I think I might get my small forward Neil Bridges this year. There's a two-way inside-out threat. As a center, that one seems like it might be pretty good. Victor Wimbledon-Yama type build. Whoa, 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 go back. The center, that one seems like it might be pretty good. Victor Wimbledon-Yama. The wet bananas type build. Three-pointers in 81. Ball handle is at 41. So if, if it's a wet bananas ball uh, uh ball player comparison, you still should be able to have a handle. I'm taking a picture of that one too. 7'3", 254, a 7'6", wingspan. So I got at least four or five different options to go with my demigod build. I'm probably going to make the height around 7'2", so I can just have more. So you mean it so... The 81 three-pointer comes off a of 7'3". Imagine what it would be like at like 7'2", or 7'1". A tight build, but I did not play Neil Bridges pretty much at all Igalskis, on NBA 24 So I look Perzangis. forward to bringing him on 25. So drop a like and sub if you have it. Versatile enforcer. I'll have some more coming up very, very soon. Three is the same. Ball handles at 60. So he made him 7-3, 2 for, He had that put some stand on it, something else. Okay, we got another option right here. Here we go. And take me out of here, Siri! That's nasty. Peace. Okay, let show that one for that one. He tried to gatekeep that one. <laughs> All right, shout out to QJB, man. All right, next up, we got the man Joe Nose up in this bit. Um, he got the first official real part game play first my part game on nba 2k25 here this is coming from laker fan so him and his boys hopped on the my team rivet city park at community day wait my had... team so my team only has a rivet city or is it is it the park we haven't even got the park news yet. three users versus three users on the other team so six players on the court you know most of the people that played at community day Played like play now, you're playing against the computer. This is the only thing I could find on YouTube right now that has six users on the court. So there's no AIs on the court. So shout out to Laker Fan Man. Make sure you drop him a like. If you do click on the video, his video will be in the description, the link to it if you want to check it out with, without me talking over it. But let's check this out. User versus user gameplay is really where you can learn a lot. So I'm interested in seeing how this is. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Laker Fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we have the first 3v3 slasher gameplay of NBA 2K. User on user, user, man. Let's go. Like that. It's online gameplay. And you can see we got my boy Joey and Spill on the team as well. Okay. So I have LeBron freaking James as a 98 overall. And then... I mean, yo, I'm going to be honest with y'all, boys, man. Like, yo, 2K is really finesse and heavy, bro. This is the same exact Mati mode called Triple Threat. And basically, you play on the actual inside basketball court, and you pick your mod team cards that you want to use from, like, three out of whatever, you know what I'm saying, I believe. Like, they're not slick, man. Spill head curry. Y'all niggas just brought back an OG 2K court. And Joey uh, the boost sales and well. stuff. So, this is so fire of a trio. <laughs> I just got to say, I mean, this is the best build for all three of us to be playing on. 
So I knew this was available, but to get six people at Community Day to like step on and record with you, it, you know, it's everyone's doing their own thing. I mean, y'all probably saw people were like diving on the court at the Basketball Hall of Fame, playing like it was Game Seven of the NBA Finals, instead of being upstairs labbing up builds and trying to figure out the game so you can make content from it. That's I don't know where people's priorities crazy. Are. <laughs> nah, Joe knows. Yeah, I feel him with the shade he threw right there. That's crazy. So there was people trying to get dropped off on a basketball court instead of making a. Hey, but hey, that's funny. I was locked into that builder that's funny. And, and with the game play and laker fan got some some three on three gameplay so let's check this so i'm out. confused these are actual mob players that they're using right here so you can bring whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on no 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 you mean to tell me you can bring a my team card to the actual same part i thought it was gonna be separate that's gonna be low-key cheese as hell bro just, just imagine like the galaxy opal like shacks and the yao means bro to have 99 and 100 overall everything bro what the hell as well. So on the other end, six users on the court. I either am familiar or aren't familiar So with. different than playing against the AI. Actually, they don't have as good of my players as this either. All right, so let's. Like Koza, for instance, we got Lonzo. Player. And granted, I think that's a good pair for him because he is a great two way player. Koza as Lonzo. Crazy lanes in this game, too. On KD, there's Spida. He was once upon a time. Spida on KD. Player. And then we have on Giannis right here, J Mac, who I met, and he's a really cool dude, too. He told okay, me J Mac on Giannis. For a long time. All right, so we get to see players with badges, good attributes, different styles of players. We're going to learn a lot in this video. To meet Koza in Bro, uh, I, like, I'm confused. Oh, so the my players are on the side right here. And then a my team. Okay, okay. Uh, Joey for the first time. See Spill again. That was so All right, fire. let's see how this gameplay <laughs> is looking like. Now, this is my team park game. It's, it's so confusing. Like, this isn't the actual park mode, but this is just my team. They got to bring this damn Rivet City to the actual city, bro. Like, that was such a good time. It only <laughs> makes sense. It's literally called Rivet City, and they're bringing back the city. There's no way they don't put these OG parts back, right? Likewise, with all the people that were at the event that I met and stuff, too. It just so happens, you know, these are all the guys we're playing against in this game. So, you can see, you know, Joey's out here being a <laughs> being a pain. He's leaving Giannis wide open. I'm sure J-Mac was trying to, you know, get a couple of good takes and stuff like that. Just so y'all know, I was trying to get speed, but I was under the assumption that he was A button. But it turns out I'm... Oh. Oh, that's why he almost ran out of bounds because he was a different icon. And Curry, which is odd to me. But anyway, uh, you're gonna see me still not make the greatest passes either. We're on we're on PlayStation. The freaking icons, I can't tell what the heck's what. <laughs> Lakers like, in shambles. Like the the color coding and stuff like that, I would assume was like something in PlayStation. It's not, bro. It's crazy. Anyway. Oh, dotted. open like every single play. So that's my fault. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> moving forward, you can see we're going into some pick and roll. Now, the difference of playing, because some people played this and they had one user on the court with two AIs, and I saw that, I was not interested at all, but this, you could, you could like, see how the movement is, see how the passing is. Oh, we're so we're going to see a lot of stuff here. I could, like, do some ISO stuff like that. We're still playing me and Spill. Mm. Laker fan, and he's still Spill at the end of the day, so, like, I'm using LeBron as a pick and roller, bro. <laughs> and as you can see, Spill hit me with the patented lobs and stuff. Too, see, it's man. just hard it's to really, big. like, you know what I'm saying, evaluate this because it's my team cards, you know what I'm saying? These are not their this actual my players. Do out here in today's game. But uh, he is how does the movement look like to y'all? Doinking. We already know like the 2K servers are going to crash like the first week or so. Like, so that's another thing to account for. Giannis is doinking. He was scared of the chase down. Lay it up. So Spill doesn't take the layup on the break. I don't blame him either. Giannis is like Giannis about to put that on the glass. No, he wasn't. Use the right stick and make him do a right handed dunk. With KD, I mean, I'm talking like was not even thinking about passing the ball. Joey, <laughs> bro, just shoots it straight. Joey. Up. Now I know the person probably playing is trash, but bro, like. I get a crazy rebound with LeBron. Now hold on, LeBron is on some Zeus. What? Uh, I get a crazy rebound. What? Let me see. Look at this rebound. <laughs> it's straight over him. Over Giannis? Nah, and... I ain't gonna lie. That is crazy. Yo, 2K be exposing themselves, bro. Yo, especially like at the like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't even like the Galaxy Opal LeBron. This is just like the regular release day my team, bro. Look how high LeBron got up off the floor. Now, we know LeBron, like, you feel me, 10 years ago could do this, bro. Against Giannis Acumpo, bro, inside the paint. Alonzo? I Over Lonzo too. That's right crazy. Seventy inch vert, up. man. Uh, long one right there. I couldn't get to. So either way, a crazy rebound. And then obviously still just you know misses open with Curry. But hey, I mean we're all on jump shots that we don't know or anything like that either. So how can I blame? I wouldn't hit anything with LeBron because I'm in the top two in the first place, especially on this. Laker plays that appear. Anything with LeBron because I'm in the top two in the first place, especially on this. <laughs> 
Two Laker of plays on a peer inside every year, if you, if you don't know. Lakers a peer inside, like, slasher, athletic finisher type of player. This is some... Wait, did he do a blowout dribble? Oh, he did. Okay, okay. Something that I noticed, and if you watch my gameplay breakdown, I talked about it a lot. The bump steals this year are, like, really good. But they're also like kind of crazy. It seems like anytime anyone comes close to the ball with their body or their leg or their foot, the ball just flies out of the ball handler's mm. hands, right? Which should happen. I said that in the last reaction to the 2K thing. But at the same time, I think, yeah, last year, if you remember, Steels was so OP and then they had like a patch. So it means that once again, Steels are going to be OP like the first month until they come out with that first patch. Right there, he did a blow so you already know the people that make the lockdowns and, and, and the type of like school threat type of menace builds, bro. They're probably going to make them again. And it's probably going to be a problem. The first so game, I understand that instance, but sometimes it, some of the stuff I saw today really didn't make any sense. The way the ball was flying out of ball handler's hands. So that's something to watch out for. So... I tell Spill, let's go, like, pass it over to uh, Joey right there, and I'm going to send an off ball. He unfortunately hit the wrong icon again, because, again, he would have assumed off instinct that I guess Spill was A, even though, you know, I had mentioned. But, anyway, even though Spill doesn't hit me on the side. Oh, LeBron I'm is snagging, though, huh? I'm in good position for the rebound. So, now, I'm going into ISO with it. We got J-Mac on me, and now, boom, Ooh. I'm hitting the side, to side hitting with that. Hey! I like that animation. I ain't going to lie. And now, boom, Ooh. I'm hitting the I like that side, cross. That. Hey! I like that. I like that. Hold on. That's clean. Are we going to replay that, Laker? It was so fun. Okay, hold on. He's not replaying. I'm replaying. Okay, right here. This cross launch here was pretty good. This one right. Ready. That one was slow, but this one right here off the hezzy, like, because it's like he could hezzy right here and, and drive on this angle, too. Yeah. But, like, Giannis is, like, anticipating that. So then, boom, cross, like, that little cross launch. Boom, shifted him. That's clean. And now, boom. And hey, that meter dog. Hey. <laughs> Poster right there. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. They told me I was patched. Uh oh. I assumed Wilt's driving dunk wasn't very good. I don't, I don't even care about being a snag guy or anything like that because I feel like it's still positioning and speed. And LeBron's got all that. So, I mean, it was like the perfect match for me, bro. Giannis? Damn, they're just disrespecting his shot. There you go. Who's that? J Mac? Where'd it get one? Where'd it knock one down, J Mac? Alright, let's see, Joey. Why not shoot Joey? Joey, what are we doing, brother? Joey, right here. Right here. Joey, I know you're watching the video, bro. Shoot the basketball, Yeah, baby. shoot the ball, bro. You're you got KD. You know who you are? You're Kevin Durant. You got KD. Crazy. This, I mean, low-key is showing that, like, 2K's jump shooting might be difficult to some people, man. So, now we want to shoot it? See, you should miss that. I wish he had the shot contest on, because, like, I feel like that's an open. I feel like that's an open shot, but I would like to just know. Why wouldn't he have the all-shot feedback on Laker? You gotta lock in, baby. You gotta lock in. We need we need information. That's why we're wa we need all the information. That's a nice little passing lane, though. Who stole that? But right here, he put the spacing is bad right here, obviously. But let's see how his player moves to hawk this lane. Nice lane. Bad spacing, you know, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take that one on the chin. That was still my turn over the end of the day. But yeah, I would have thought that, you know, maybe, maybe you could have got That looked like a nice responsive passing lane. I did draw the double team at the end of the day with the rim run. Lay? The hell? That animation see, never again, be like, I want to see percentage, or not percentage, but I want to see, like, what type of contest it was. I'm maybe diving on that, um, let's say, lob attempt, but... Nice pull up. Nice fade to go right there with Curry, so we got a 9-6 to six lead. And I gotta say, dude, I still feel like gameplay was moving kind of smooth, you know? We got... Uh, the 2K Lab dudes at the point guards. So we got Spill and Koza. Uh, we got the thing you also have to realize that I talked about earlier in my breakdown was even in here, like Lonzo has all Lonzo Ball signature dribbles. You know, Steph has all Steph signature dribbles. LeBron has all LeBron sig. KD has KD. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have optimized dribble sigs where it's like going to give you the best, quickest, smoothest movement at that height of player. You're stuck with the NBA player dribble sig. So take the way they're moving with a grain of salt, but there's still a lot we can learn from watching this. Like. You know, 
Joey's moving solid with KD. Me on LeBron fitting right in my natural habitat. Holding the screens like the pick and roll movement felt good. Even the isos with LeBron, even though I didn't go for it right here, they were feeling good as well. So we got the empty side pick and roll. If you guys have ever seen my games, you know, if I got that open side pick and roll right here with a corner can't. And they right. love the, the, the alley oops, huh? <laughs> looking for that rim dive slash alley-oop and there you go i mean shout out to shout out to freaking spillboy man like what happened with the editing did my thing just lag or did it just you know what's coming <laughs> we're looking for that rim dive slash alley-oop and there yeah, you go what happened I mean, to that to, <coughs> i don't know what to happened over there spillboy, man. what's going on play with me and all that like we've been there before you know not not at a really high amount or anything like that but he knows he knows what i'm looking for and it's funny too because koza was like yapping to his guys telling them exactly speaking what of yapping I know Laker fan for a long time. Shout out to him for this video and for all the content and all the things he does in the community. But he's talking about other people yapping. He is a yapper and he knows that. He is the old, like, y'all talking about Bauer, well. my lockdown and prime being a yapper. Laker fan is right up there, man. They're, they're both S tier when it comes to yapping. <laughs> J Max watched my video. Man said S tier. So he knows exactly what I try and do. So, I mean, just because. You know, it's our first time playing. People still know what I do, you know? So it is what it is. And, and you know, regardless of that, we're trying to make it happen. And as you can see, LeBron is hey. moving out here, man. Now, LeBron has some so, good launches, like, especially for such a big player. Know what I do, you know? So like, it is what it is. Lakers not doing anything crazy, but like just this Hezzy right here, like, he gets a nice little burst off that. And I feel like. Obviously, as you get better SIGs on your My Player you're probably going to be able to move even better. And and it's also, like, obviously, Lakers' first time playing this. It's the demo at Community Day. So he hasn't, like, figured out exactly how to move. But LeBron's getting pretty good bursts, and his meters are... His meters are metering. I got to say, ball hand speed boosting just off that glimpse right there still looks pretty good. It, it didn't look terrible, especially in, in relativity. And also, right what I noticed... See how it kind of makes him bring the ball backwards a little? When I was labbing up with the with players in the uh, learn 2K thing, when you get that kind of bring the ball back before you launch, it's almost because you mistimed the same side ball hand speed boost. Like there's a specific timing for when you pull the trigger and push the left stick. And I feel like when you do it correctly, it didn't give you that load up that he gets right there. Even with the load up, it's still pretty fast, but without it, from what I remember, it was even faster. So as we lab the game, we're gonna obviously be moving even even more cleanly there still looks pretty good it, it, but it was still a decent launch for sure especially for first time playing the game that we've seen you know in the game like dribbling as a whole seems pretty bad overall i gotta say you know just my open opinion on it but yeah we get spider not huh. shooting right there I'm, I'm baiting a little bit I, off that katie he thinks the dribbling was bad that later we get a nice stop right there i thought i would have got called for a foul so i look mm, okay first of all two things right here nice stop right there. look at this push by lebron right there y'all seen it right there yeah that's the camera turned that's crazy that that's what that, that should happen though physical handles anymore but that's whatever right here watch he like shoves kd off of him with his arm yo that's, nigga stiff armed him that's crazy pretty tough. tough i like that a lot but obviously usually lockdowns have hella high strength so as a ball handler, it doesn't even like really benefit you to have strength that often unless you're playing like i park, think also the sleeper i think also a sleeper build this year to make is a small four like a like a LeBron James or like Apollo Banchero type of a build. Just seeing that right off the rip. Hollywood. But then look at this lane from Lonzo. What the heck? Whoa. That nigga teleported. You see that little speed boost he got right there? Yeah, bro, he got a, bro got, got a speed boost on a Eesh. steal. That is wild. Lane's insane right there. Hey. <laughs> That is just insane, and I expect that from Koza too. I mean, hey, wait. Two way player. Let's see what happens with the lanes. Uh, J Mac hits a nasty euro right there with Giannis as well. I gotta say, it, it looks Giannis like Giannis is always insane. Time. Giannis, Giannis is always insane every year. The, uh, you know, layup timing, which is still a thing. There you go, Joey. Joey goes for a wide open top of key three right there, and bro, I get another. Bro, is LeBron a demon on the glass? It's He's snagging everything. If he got that one, I was about to say. Uh, and Lonzo, which you know is expected. They're not great rebounders or anything like that, but man, <laughs> this LeBron was going crazy, bro. And you know, I I understand. Be honest. The opportunity to have back to Doinkin. The game and all, but 
I mean, it felt right at home. And I would have used Giannis too if I would have like got him or didn't get LeBron or something like that. I definitely would prefer Giannis at like 94 over like a like a 98 Wilt or anything like that because I just I just don't think Wilt is my right type of like center. You know, I want driving dunk on my build, man. I don't want to just be upset my screen, get my board type of guy. But anyway, I tell I tell uh, Spill even through the terrible you know microphone and everything, I'm going for the up down off him catching it right there. So we got the up down, we got the up down to work out to our benefit. Obviously, you know, with a pure inside on the team, you kind of got to run the team through them a little bit because if they're just going to keep sagging off, they, they either got to make something work. I think they should have used screens more, in my opinion, like, especially with uh, J-Mac being on Giannis. I mean, like, if you are on Giannis, I just don't think using him as a corner spot up is exactly the way to go. You know, if he's going to be good with the ISO, like what I'm doing with LeBron a little bit, you know, it probably would work. But anyway, we try and hit that blowout dribble right there. I tell Spill to hit me, uh, to wrap me right there. But man, Koza blows it up as if he heard me. And I don't know, maybe he did. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like anytime. Wait, this is a good blitz right here. Like this, this should be a bump steal. Let me see it. We see it play out for a but second. Anyway, on the wrap, he just blows this thing up like he's blitzing in like a football game or something like that. So he gets that to go right here. You can see yeah, so I think this year on, on those, because sometimes in 24, like you would blitz somebody perfect and you, the ball would literally just go through their body. It looks like this year when you get your body on that ball, like I said, it might even be too far in the other direction, but we'll see as we see more online gameplay. User versus user gameplay, that's very important. But um. Yeah, it seems like anytime you get your body on the ball, the ball's gonna pop free. Uh, Koza now, cause Spill's like wide open as long as he doesn't return back to his guy. So we get the kind of fumble play to go our way, you know, a little bit fortunate, but man, Koza was playing some freaking defense out here. And it, it was like something to see. So unfortunately, like ran out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah, man. Not a baseline on like that. I feel like that's like the third time people have just ran out of bounds. Probably was playing great defense. You know, I'm sure it was hard to know to get things all acclimated. So I try and get Joey to uh, go for his own little thing. Damn, Joey's still not shooting the ball. Oh my goodness. I got blocked. Uh, you know, get things all acclimated. So I try and get We're not shooting shoot. this with Kevin Durant. Like, shoot, nigga. Bro, these are the people that they be inviting to community day, bro. Like, come on, man. Things all acclimated. So I try and get... We're not shooting Like, invite the damn glitchers and the cheesers. That's who y'all need to be inviting to the community day, bro. Like, come on, man. If bro, if Kevin Durant reacted to this footage, bro, he'll probably run down on whoever was usering this man, bro. That's what Kevin Durant. Look at that, shit. Look at that bro. That's like the, bro. That's like the type of jump shot animation like an old head at like 56 years old who just started playing 2K. Like, like come on, man. No type of like <laughs> control or anything. KD. Doink. Nah. Damn, nobody can shoot out here, huh? Damn, Damn, nobody can shoot. Damn, it, it looks like jump shooting might be hard. I remember jump shooting was so difficult at the beginning of like last 2K, if y'all remember that. Anyway, Joey gets the ball again, hits blowout dribble, he goes for another layup. Giannis is there to stop it. So they're out on the break again right here. Easy take, moving forward, you know, boom, get that with KD. The spider gets the bucket right there. So it's 18 to 12 now. So they could still keep going for the three to tie the game, but I'm making KD look, look bad, right man. As you can see, we got Spider masked up on me. I don't get anything to go really easy right there, so we end up giving this ball back to Spill, but he sees me on like a really- Bro, they go to the lob a lot. I wonder if they're actually going to be like actually super effective this year. The lob? The lobs weren't bad in 24, but they weren't anything like- You didn't see a ton of them in competitive games. Nah, hell, now lobs has definitely been nerfed the last two 2Ks. So if it's the time they bring back lobs being OP, it'll be now. You can see. There it is. There it is. Joey! I knew it. I seen it. They end up winning that. Thank you, Joe. Talking smack in the Shoot game, the ball. Mike. You're Kevin Durant, baby. 23 and, and to 12. And that was the first user on user online gameplay we've seen of NBA 2K25. If y'all are looking for a more in-depth, detailed breakdown. All right, so I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. With this my team mode that's on the park, bro, I'm probably not going to play this more than five times. I played the triple threat before, and you guys have seen me play it back in the day. We played it like... Bro, like, honestly, a total of the, like, since 2K19, we played the triple threat mode, like, maybe four to seven times. Because um, it's just like a copy and paste of the park, bro. Um, like I said, I really hope that they have these types of parks in there and they don't have the city too crazy and too extra and stuff like that. Um, there was another video of Joe Knows had the My Player Breakdown. Let's go check it out. You know what I'm saying? We can get some extra free info. But we'll no intro. Speed it. We all know why we're here. All I ask is you drop a like on the video because this did take me a while to make. And let's get right into the Builder Breakdown.
All right, let's jump right into it. So first, you're going to have your name, hand, jersey number, all that's the same, right? Now, when you come in here, height, weight, wingspan, everything that I saw was pretty much identical to 2K24. You know, height affects almost everything. Weight affects strength, rebounding, perimeter, wingspan affects, you know, rebounding, block, driving dunk, three-pointer. Pretty much everything's the same in terms of what your physicals affect, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this. We're gonna jump right into the actual attributes and badges screen, and everything you see here is going to be similar, but there's some tweaks, okay? So as you scroll through the attributes, obviously the badges on the right change depending on what attribute you're on. There's also a description for every badge. How accurate are they? We will see, because 2K24 had some inaccuracies. But when you tap the right bumper, it's gonna scroll over to the takeover screen instead of the badges screen. And over on this one, you can scroll through all the takeovers. It tells you the attribute requirements to be able to unlock that takeover on the build that you're creating. And then down below that, probably right where my head is kinda, you'll see that it shows you exactly what the attribute boost is for that takeover. Now, also similar to 2K24, when you press triangle or Y, it's gonna change the badges screen and it's gonna show all the badges on your build. And as you put up the attributes, it'll show which badges you're unlocking. Now, more importantly, on the bottom right, it shows you the attribute requirement for each badge level, all the way from bronze, all the way to legend, but there's an easier way to view this. So over here on NBA2KLab.com, they have a spreadsheet for free, this is 100% free for every oh, category, really? playmaking, finishing, defense, rebound, and every badge in the game, and all the requirements to unlock that badge at each level, bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame, and legend, and all the height, uh, min, maxes, everything you can need, and this is available right now for free on NBA2KLab.com. Now, of course, if you're interested in the premium content, that costs a couple dollars a month, but if you use code Joe, you'll get a big discount on that, all right? And in my opinion, it's 100% worth the premium membership because that gets you all the jump shot data and you'll be able to craft the perfect jump shot within the first couple of days of the game. And I mean, that's what all the best players use. They, they use that. Yeah, shout out to Joe, man. You seem like a very, very genuine guy, bro. Know what he's doing. That information to make sure that they have. Bro, paying a subscription and get... <laughs> Bring a subscription and get some badges, uh, badge tutorial help or anything. You know, that, that is hilarious. The biggest advantage over everything. I mean, if someone, else, dude, I don't knock this you. data here is 100% free. Also, along with the badge data for free, they have all the takeovers and requirements listed as well. As you can see, they have every single takeover in the game, what the requirement is, what the uh, boost percentage, or not percentage, what the how much attributes get boosted from it, and they have a description about it. It's amazing everything they have over here at NBA2KLabs.com. I definitely recommend y'all check it out. The link will be in the description. And as I said, if you're interested in that jump shot data and all the other premium content that they offer, use code Joe to get that discount. It's only a couple dollars a month, and it is definitely, definitely worth it. Now, a lot of people asked about legend badges, so let's talk about it, okay? We were able to test them, but as you can see, I mean, they look cool, but some are very expensive. So to get these legend badges, you need a 99 three-pointer, and it puts you up to 64 overall. You see, it's four overall just to go from 98 to 99.3. Another one that we're gonna take a look at here is going to be uh, posterizer, right? So you need 99 driving dunk and 90 vertical. It's gonna be much more expensive than, three, than the three-pointer because you need two attributes uh, categories to hit certain thresholds. So this is what I mean. Certain legend badges are going to be much more expensive. Look at 90 vertical and 99 driving dunk. You're already a 74 overall. To get the shooting badges to 99, you're a 64 overall. So that's 10 more overall just to get a legend posterizer as opposed to a legend dead eye. So we talked about posterizer, we talked about uh, some of the shoot limitless and dead eye and all those ones, but what about ball handling, right? 99 ball handling, you're an 83 overall. 83 overall, just like that. Now you do get three legend badges with this one. You get ankle assassin, handles for days, and unpluckable, but the reason being, Bro. It's because it's Yo, if you're making a six foot point guard in 2024 going into 2025, bro, <laughs> you just want to get dropped. I right, just so many other attributes, right? Your speed with ball <laughs> automatically goes to an 89. Your layup automatically goes to an 84. Your speed automatically goes to an 84. So depending on what the badge um is tied to attribute wise, is also going to obviously affect how expensive getting that legend badge is. Another one let's look at is steel, legend interceptor, and legend glove. You get both of them with a 99 steel, and you're a 65 overall. Much, much, much cheaper than going 99 ball handle. Now, I also will mention this. Depending on the height of your build, that is going to affect many things, including how expensive certain attributes are, but also what that attribute ties to and how much it ties to those other attributes. We're gonna get into that in just a second. Another one to look at is 99 driving layup. That gets you the uh, legend uh, layup mix master, but as you can see, you still need 98 close shot and 98 driving layup to get legend float game. So, I mean, that's basically 299 attributes to get one badge on legend. Pretty crazy. Now, something 2K talked about, the taller you go, the less attributes you get. So as you can see at 5.9, if you checked out the video I just posted on the 5.9 builds, they are insane how many attributes you get. But going from 5.9, you see how much you get. 99 <coughs> ball handle, 99 three, 99 steel, 88 layup, 89 speed, all these crazy attributes, right? Now, just going a tick up to 5.10. Bro, 5.9? Uh, all these <laughs> You get a 99.3, 99 mi how, how do you even have a, a dunk up there? 75 dunk? 
Driving lamp 99. 99 ball handle, 99 speed, bro. Crazy attributes, right? Now, speed with the to ball. To 510. What the hell? 89 speed, all these crazy attributes, right? Now, just going a tick up. Bro, vertical is at a 99 at 5. To 510. Or whatever. We're ba our build's basically done. We have a 97 3, 97 ball handle, only 92 steel. Obviously, we have a, a 93 steel, right? We have a few attributes to play with, but nowhere near as many attributes as 5 9. Now, let's go check out even at the taller build. Let's see, 6 3 to 6 4 to 6 5 to 6 7. You see, we had 93 dunk, 89 3. We had um, 92 ball handle, 91 speed with ball, and 96 steel. All right, so now let's check out the 6 4. We have 5 less steel. We don't have the Hall of Fame Lightning launch, right? We only have 90 speed with balls, so I'm trying to tinker with it. And it's just you can't get as much at 6'4 as you got at 6'3. And, you know. So a 6'4 point guard, and if you guys remember, that's usually like the. Well, no, I think I went up to like 6'6 or 6'7 over the past two years when I did point guard. I told you I'm retiring the point guard bills, but just curious to see where it's at. Three pointers at an 89. Yeah, man, it's just not worth making a point guard, bro. 6'11 wingspan. How do you have 86 speed? Bro, 6'4 point guard should have faster speed than someone that's 5'9. You know, you're going to see a common that's theme. That's wild. Here. It's just the taller you go, the less attributes you get. So I'm, I'm, I'm literally trying to play with it to try to create the same build. It's just, it's not possible. You don't get as many attributes because I gained an inch of height. Now we go to 6'5. Let's see what we could get at 6'5. And the thing about this is it's going to really come down to how the gameplay plays. Like, obviously, being taller is an advantage, but how much of an advantage? Is it Spill worth out of my losing a ton of... Like, compare this build at 6'6 now to the one you just you just saw at 5'9. At 5'9, we had... We had a, a, a damn near a 99 in every category that we needed, along with super fast speed, a high layup. And now we're, we're down to, you know, 93 dunk, 89 three. We have an 87 ball handle, 85 speed, only 83 steal. Like, the higher we go, the less attributes you, we get. So it's a lot of the game, and in terms of what's going to be the best build or the best, you know, most effective build is going to come down to, let's say, is a small build, regardless of attributes, a liability defensively? If the answer is yes, well then, okay, we got something to talk about. If they can still get great shot contest because of the, let's say the new shot contest system is completely different and maybe as long as you're standing close to somebody, you get a contest, well then small builds are gonna be crazy because they're gonna have the best attributes. But if I can just shoot over a smaller player regardless of what his perimeter is because, you know, he's 5'9", I'm 6'7", I don't even see him, well then that's a whole nother story. Now we need to talk about, you know, the ratio of attributes versus height, what's gonna be more effective, what's not. You know, it, the gameplay is going to have a big factor on whether the small, small, small builds are super duper effective. I talked about this more in my 5'9 Demigod video. The gameplay is really going to affect what builds are the best. And just going off of like attributes, obviously the smaller builds look better. But as we know, in 2K height has always been a factor. Wingspan's always been a factor. The, 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 they're gonna figure that out come time when it's when they do the ones like on a stage and shit like that. Like, bro, go ahead and try and bring that 5'9 player with all those 99 attributes in there. You match up against my demigod, bro. You're gonna be raging at me at the end of the but day. But you know, the level <laughs> of how much it matters right differs every year. We'll have to wait and see. It's gonna be very, very interesting. I'll leave it at that. Now let's talk about some badge caps in terms of badge level depending on height. So this is for lightning launch. People wanted me, me to see the tallest you could get at each level, okay? So to get Hall of Fame lightning launch, you need 94 speed with ball. The tallest you could be to get legend lightning launch was six foot two, okay? The tallest you could be to get Hall of Fame lightning launch is six foot four. The tallest you could be to get gold lightning launch was six foot six. And obviously weight affects your speed with ball. So a lot of these heights, you're going absolute minimum weight. You see at 6'6", six, six, minimum weight, you can get the 86 speed with ball and that gets you the gold lightning launch. Silver lightning launch, the tallest you could go is six foot nine, right? You could go six foot nine. So you had to change it to small forward, obviously, because the height cap uh, based on position. But minimum weight, six foot nine, you can get silver lightning launch. And then last but not least, bronze lightning launch. You need, I forget the exact attribute requirement, but you can go 6'11". 611, lower that weight down, 68 speed with ball. That's what it was. 68 speed with ball, you get bronze lightning launch. Okay, so those are the absolute tallest builds you can be to get each badge level of lightning launch. Another one that people requested a lot, limitless range. The tallest you can be to get legend limitless range is six foot five. Six foot five, minimum wingspan. You can get a 99 three pointer. That's the requirement for legend limitless range. Okay, Hall of Fame limitless range is going to require a 96 three pointer, 96 three ball tallest you can go is six foot five so if you want legend or hall of fame limitless you have to go six foot five you can obviously increase your wingspan a little bit if all you want is the, the hall of fame but you can't go up to six six now the tallest you can go to get gold limitless range is six foot six you need a 93 three-pointer to get that gold limitless six foot six with a six seven wingspan will get you that silver limitless range the tallest you can go silver limitless is six foot seven you need an 89 three ball this year for, for silver limitless you can get that at six foot seven and the tallest you can go to get bronze, limitless, is seven foot three. 
you can be max height. You gotta lower that wingspan down. Of course, you see me playing with it here, trying to find what the threshold is. You can go 7-3. 7-3, you can get that bronze uh, limitless. And if you go minimum wingspan, you actually get 85-3 ball. So you're two, you're two above that bronze limitless cap. Last bet. You go minimum wingspan, you actually get 85-3 ball. So you minimum wingspan for a 7-3 center. Ball handles at 66. Three-pointer is 85. See, my thing is, bro, I'm going to take a picture of this one, too. Like, for a center that has a low wingspan that's that tall, does it make a difference this year in 2K? You're too, you're too above that bronze limitless cap. Last badge height cap that you guys wanted was posterizer. So at six foot nine, you can get legend posterizer. 99 driving dunk with a 90 vertical. Okay, that's legend posterizer. Very, very expensive, as you can see here. Let me see. 72 overall, and that's all we've put up is the dunk and the vertical. Very expensive for legend. Moving on, Hall of Fame posterizer. You can be six foot 10. Max wingspan, you need a 96 driving dunk with an 85 vertical. Okay, moving on to gold okay. posterizer. You can be six foot 11, but you have to lower your weight. Lowering the weight at this height does increase your driving dunk by one, otherwise you'll get stuck on 92 driving dunk. But gold posterizer at 611. Moving on, silver posterizer, you can unlock at seven feet tall. So seven feet tall, you can still get silver posterizer, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, Bronze posterizer, you guessed it. You can get it at seven foot three. That really? At seven foot three, you got to crank up that wingspan a little bit, but you need a 73 driving dunk. You got to lower that weight down to be able to get that 73 oh, wait, driving dunk. What's the three going to be at? Unlock bronze posterizer. You can get that at the tall height in the game. Now we're going to talk about attribute correlation and basically how attributes work together and how height affects this. Okay, this is very important. When you're making your build, you're going to want to check out the height caps next to, you know, let's say you're looking at a six foot 10 build. You're going to want to check out six, nine, six, 11 and see how they tie into each other. So on that six foot 10 build, you'll see the, whatever I put my standing dunk up to, my driving dunk was 15 attribute points behind it, right? So I had 85 standing dunk. My driving dunk was automatically a 70. You'll see at six foot nine is the same thing. It's a 15 point difference. But as we start to play with this height, you're going to start to see that it's not the same at every height. It's not always a 15 point difference. So as you see, we go to six foot eight, it's still a 15 point difference. I have 85 standing. I automatically have to have a 70 driving. But now check this out. If I go down to six foot seven, it's a 10 point difference. So if I wanted an 80 standing dunk, or let's say a 70 standing dunk, my driving dunk has to go up to a 60 now. So it's a bit more expensive because it's only letting me go 10 away instead of 15 away. Same thing at six foot six. So my point with this is, if you're trying to maximize your build to the fullest and you want to have a high standing dunk, but you don't really care about the driving dunk, you might want to consider the taller heights because you'll save five attribute points. As opposed to if you do it at six foot six, if you want a 90 standing, you're automatically going to have to have an 80 driving dunk. But at the taller heights here, like a six foot eight, you can go 90 standing and only have a 75 driving dunk. You're saving that five attribute points because you're taller. Another example. All right, at six foot six, I know we're kind of nerding out here and whatnot, but bear with me. This is important if you're trying to make the most effective build. Let's say I'm trying to make a lockdown, but I want to give it post control too, so I can work out of the corner and, and, and you know be able to exploit mismatches with guards. If I want 90 post control on a six six, I automatically have to have an 80 ball handle, right? It's a 10 point difference like we were just talking about. But as we go up in height, that is not going to be the case. Now check this out, six foot seven. I'm going to do the same thing, 90 post control. Now. I only need a 70 ball handle. So I saved 10 attribute points just by going up to six foot seven. And you're gonna see, as we continue to go up in height, ball handle does not tie to post control as much. So you're saving attributes depending on the type of build that you wanna make. So I really wanna stress when you're making your build, make sure you check the heights surrounding whatever height you're looking. Say you're looking for a six foot seven build, you might wanna investigate six, six and six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, and all the heights in that area to see how they tie in. At six foot eight, a 90 post control my ball handle only goes up to a 50. Now I just saved a ton of attributes. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I know we're nerding out here in the builder, but hey, that's what this video is about. One last thing I noticed, and this isn't a huge deal, but I wonder how many other things are like this in the builder, okay? At six foot two, you see your strength maxes out at a 95. At six foot three, your strength maxes out at a 99. At six foot four, your strength maxes out at a 98. And then at six foot five, your strength maxes out at a 94. And then six foot six, your strength max is out also at a 94. So you're saying, Joe, it's a guard build. Why do you care about strength being so high? I don't. But my point is, why can a 6'3 get 99 strength, but a 6'2, a 6'4, a 6'5, and a 6'6 can't? What's special about 6'3 that you can get a 99 strength? So it just makes me think, the more we investigate into this builder, are there going to be certain heights that are like, I don't want to call it a glitch, but it kind of like a mistake maybe? I, I don't think that was intentional. Why would, why would a 6'3 get 99 strength? 
but the, the six four five and six couldn't and then the six two couldn't as well it just seems kind of off so i wonder if within this builder as we continue to really craft builds and dive in maybe there's small things like that like maybe there's a certain height that we didn't notice could get like a a higher post control or a higher block rating than the surrounding heights in that area maybe mistakes were made outside of just the strength department maybe it was just a mistake in the demo version of the game that we were playing but just something to look out for again strength on a small guard really doesn't matter so that particular mistake wouldn't really affect the game at all but i just wonder if there's other small little things out there where it's like hey this six eight build can actually get a higher block than the six seven or six nine surrounding it probably not but who knows just something i noticed but if you're looking for the 2k25 gameplay breakdown that video right there has everything you can want what three point rating do you need on your build how to speed boost meter dunking tutorial everything you need to be good at nba 2k25 is in all right man we got the official um 2k for everything you know what i'm saying broken down is everything that you just guys seen enough for you guys to order NBA 2K25 and pre-order? Now, <laughs> when we seen the park gameplay, we all know that was not the real park. That was my team. Um, I don't know why 2K is trying so hard to promote the same Monty mode triple threat that y'all have been had in the game and just put in into a regular park. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I don't get where y'all, what are y'all trying to like, like go with that? Like, you can just tell at this point, 2K is just so money hungry. They're really trying to push that My Team mode this year for people to just, like, just because just they know that their stock on 2K is plummeting, like, so far. So, like, My Team mode is just that, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that money maker mode for them, bro. So, it's just, like, all about, like, uh, VC buying this and that, bro. To be honest, bro, I don't see a lot of people playing that, like, My Team Park mode, dog. I don't even know why they did that, you know, like... That's just my pre preference. Are y'all going to be on that My Team Park mode just because it has the Rivet City or I don't know if it has any, any other parts? To me, I don't I don't really see anything fun about that, to be honest. Um, the My Player Builder, we got plenty of information that we needed to see. I got about four or five different like type of demigod builds that I have, um, you know, options to make and stuff. And it looks like to see, it looks, it, it looks like so far... Uh, the last thing I wanted to say is that I guess the smaller you make your player, just the more 90 plus attributes that you have. But I wouldn't get too caught up in trying to make something super small because, like, bro, you got to be honest with yourselves. Like, most of the people on a part on the average is about, like, 6'6 six, six and up. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't screw yourself over. Like, I feel like if you make a small my player build, that should be strictly for, like, my career mode. But that's just preferably for me, man. Out of everything that you have seen so far, 2K hasn't even dropped the City Park trailer yet, man. They, they didn't even been drop it by this point of last year. Out of everything you guys have seen, man, what would you guys rate 2K so far? I mean, the game is dropping literally within a week. You know what I'm saying from now? So far, man, I'm giving the game a 5.4 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you guys need to give us what we want to see. We want every, and most of the points that you guys are going to be earning is the type of content and the type of gameplay and just the type of just like, just content in general that we are going to be provided with in the park or whatever you call it, the city this year, man. We need to see what that's talking about, bro. Because like, you, you I don't know why y'all gatekeep the information at the very last minute. And you guys know why you do that. Because y'all are going to be on 100% bullshit and know that you're going to put some, they have to have put something in the city this year that nobody is going to be fucked with. That's why they're gatekeeping it, bro. They haven't even been given no hints at all. These niggas really, these niggas only allow these guys to go out to the, the community day and record my team part game. When have they, bro, when have 2K ever really deeply dived into a my team mode that they way that they have did this year? They're obviously so money hungry, bro. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any type of sense. They, they really promoted a 3v3 triple threat my team mode mode which they just replace with an outdoor og 2k 16 part bro you guys are not slick straight up you guys are not slick whatsoever all right